Right, good afternoon. Welcome back to another video here on Coast of Crazy. Yes, uh, you probably saw the title. We're at Shrewsbury Prison. Um, well, at least we think it's pronounced Shrewsbury, but something, yeah, it's not that Shrewsbury. something like that. Anyway, <laughs> we even went on Google to try and get the pr pronunciation for it. Anyway, yeah, we're at. Uh, a prison. I've never done a prison tour before. We actually booked this last night. Uh, we've got a tour that starts at two o'clock. We've just parked in the car park, literally just behind my shoulder, which was five pound fifty, I think it was. I'll rewind. Uh, five fifty for twenty-four hours. We just parked in there. Uh, so yeah, this is the prison. I've got Wikipedia up to give you some information because I have no idea anything about this prison at all. But it opened in 1877 and it closed in 2013 but now it operates as a tourist attraction and i think they filmed shaw shrank shaw shank shrank shaw shank redemption in this as well so yeah i don't really know if we can film in it um this might have been a waste of time <laughs> starting this bit but yeah we've got to go over there. there's a visitor center and stuff like that but yeah something completely different uh we were actually wanted to do the um alcatraz uh, in san francisco a few years ago but that was fully booked up so yeah never done a, a prison tour before Right, so like I said, we're in the prison now, and um, yeah, I didn't really want to spoil the thing, but we've walked through half of it already, trying to find the uh, the cafeteria. Uh, like I said, I, I told us to start for another 45 minutes, but they actually do quite a few other different activities in here, we just see on this price list up here. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. The guided tours are £15 each. Um, so, oh sorry, guided £18 each, they do a ghost tour, they do a lights out tour, they do activities, the cell room, escape rooms, the whole escape room, um, eye combat, axe throwing, archery, there's like so much stuff uh, and obviously things to read on the walls about the prison food, ironically, while it's situated in the cafeteria. But yeah, it's, um, it's got, to be, it's got to be pretty interesting and like I said, I've never done a prison tour before. It's uh, it's an attraction, so I'm going to put it on the channel. Um, something completely different, like I said, never done it before. So there's like the map that you get. And um, I'll just show you quickly. we do I get copyrighted by uh, Depeche Mode in the background. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty big what, what we're going to see, um, I'm, I'm guessing. But that, it's, it's, it's a two hour tour. So, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy this. Um, something completely different. And, um, yeah, something unique. Never done anything like this before. But, yeah, welcome to Shrewsbury Prison. Oh, wow. It's probably brutal here. The, the, the girl here is just taking someone in that and just locked her inside there. It's part of the uh, thing. Oh. Oh. Stitches, get stitches. Oh, run away. <laughs> I think this is the um, like the guided tour bit. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty brutal, that. Oh, oh, uh, run away. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, I think that's a part of the escape room or one of the things that you can do, like the extreme escape rooms. That's they just locked her inside that, in that van. Oh. Oh, oh, she's taking her mobile phone. <gasps> uh, I'm, I'm gonna be a good boy, I promise. Yeah. Right, here we go. We're on the uh, guided tour. Bang on two o'clock. Don't film it all. Yeah, and I'm not filming it all. Make sure you get my good angle. Oh yeah, all the time, yeah. That's it, feel free to take any photos you want throughout the tour. I'm not picky. Liz! Yeah? She had a mobile phone on it. <gasps> she had a mobile phone. <gasps> She's going to be 
in SEG for a bit. Right, so, welcome to Shrewsbury Prison, ladies and gents. My name's Liz, I'm going to be a tour guide today and I'm going to show you around the prison. I'm going to start in reception, which is hopefully the first and only time we will see anyone on their way in. Then we're going to go up to A-Wing, we're going to be downstairs for a bit, we're talking about conditions, how things have changed over the years. Then I'm going to give you a break, because it's a lot to take in for the first hour, to be honest with you. So I'll give you a break to have a wander around on your own downstairs, go to the toilet, a drink, what have you, and then we're going to go upstairs from there. Yeah. Sit, you'll make your way in, run to the door, get you all in. If anyone wants to put a mask on because it can be quite stuffy in here and enclosed. Again, it's not an obligation. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Sit, right in. The place in prison, they're not owned by the system, they're owned by us. So, be released from there, and like I say, hopefully, it's the first time you see you. Because we get one of these for each business who tells us who they are. Now, sometimes you don't need it. You'll have people walk in and go, Hey, I've asked how you've been, it's a long time. <laughs> Hi, yeah. How long has it been this time? Three months. For some people, three months is a long time. Because if you think we used to have young offenders back in the 80s, so we'd have people coming in from 70 right up until their 40s, 50s. And then they start coming back less often because they can't be bothered or what have you. So people start coming back. Sometimes it's a really quick turnaround. We had one bloke who was released with his £48. Everyone's released with £48. Don't ask me why, I don't set the prices. But they were released with the £48 to go and get the train, to go where he needed to be to start up again. And he realised pints were selling for a pound and with spoons. <laughs> <laughs> he was picked up in a bush by the police because he was found in breach of his licence. He was brought straight back. He woke up the following morning going, what am I doing here? <laughs> in breach of his licence, so he was brought straight back. Sometimes it can be very quick, but that's more rare. But they are much nicer in some of the more modern prisons. They've got, they're currently putting a phone like this into every prison cell of the country at the moment. They've got laptops, but they're not. Oh, pretty interesting so far. That first bit was 20 minutes. Oh yeah, it's, it's just like I've never really seen inside a, a, a prison before. Uh, obviously I've never been in trouble with the police, I've never been arrested or things like that, but yeah, it's an old prison. This is uh, A Wing, I think, and they've got some of the um, people in here. You see them orange jumpsuits, so they're doing the prison break. This is like the escape room thing, so obviously, it's like they've got to try and escape. But yeah, some of the information they've already told us is, is pretty cool. Like, So there are the fours on the top, each floor is named by the number, so ones, twos, threes and fours. This is quite a large one, Places, um, some are smaller, some are shorter, but it, I know Liverpool's only two, they've only got two floors at Liverpool, but it's your typical wing. In some of the larger prisons, um, they're Victoria prisons, they're built on what's called the Panoptagon. So you'll have a wing like this with the tower at the bottom. Um, which was the warden's tower and it'd have seven other wings leading off it and the idea was you didn't know whether the warden was looking down your wing or down someone else's so you'd be eight now obviously this is a smaller prison we haven't got that many wings we've got four wings we've got a wing which is this one our largest wing c wing which used to be the women's wing we've also got b wing where the governor's lodge is and in healthcare. Um, I'm not taking you down there because it's quite narrow, but it's got the chaplaincy, uh, serial killers tour, healthcare, the lot. If you want to investigate afterwards, you're welcome to. And then D-Wing, where the execution room is. And it was called Remission. It was days were added by the governor. 
It's not done that way anymore. It's done by an external magistrate. So the external magistrate will come in and add days to your sentence. That's how it's done now. Now, that barred cell you can see here with the gentleman stood in front. It's all right, not, not getting an attention to it. But that is your constant watch cell. And it's suicide watch, that's what it's for. It's for those people who are a serious risk to themselves. And they'll be in there, like I say, on constant watch, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for as long as Right, so far this is it's pretty interesting actually. I mean the tour guide I just said, did you actually work at the prison? She she didn't. <laughs> Her uncle worked at the prison, but she's only actually been a tour guide for a month, so she she knows her stuff. But yeah, this is quite interesting here. Uh, the T boy cell. Uh, it just basically says this cell was um, where the, one of the prisons house would have been trusted to prisoner who was responsible for making officers tea. This is also the very last occupied cell here at Shrewsbury Prison. So this was the last yes. cell to house prisoners. Where are you four going? So, oh yeah, you've got the, the scale. I'll tell you about that in a minute. So yeah, it's like the couple of bunks in here, the toilet. You can see they've got the TV. So yeah, the prison actually closed in 2013. So it's not really that long ago. The guys here, so it's a corporate event where they, it's like a prison break. Um, like a, an escape rooms um, sort of thing. So yeah, this is A wing. It's just those like little mock-ups of showing you what would happen. Like you know, someone's been violent and smashed up his room. It's pretty cool stuff though. Yeah, the riot cell. Some of these ones are like the. Uh, oh, we can go in. Oh, we can go in this one. Seg segregated, constant watch. So this is said this one's like a padded cell, or one of them was a padded cell. It's a constant watch. Oh god. Oh there's actually stuff in there. Does it work? Oh it doesn't work. Oh that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty grim in it. I mean you couldn't even like get up to have a look out the window. Oh, I'm in prison! Let me help. Yeah, dogs on park. <laughs> it's pretty good for lighting as well, for filming with the GoPro. So yeah, there's one, two, there's four cells here. It's like cells in the ages, so it shows you like how they've evolved as well. Like you can see the difference from this one to the last one. Oh, it's grim. Oh god, yeah, it's like all sorts of crap in there. <laughs> so yeah, while I'm filming this, I just got an email last night that brand new GoPro Hero 10 is available. I don't think I'll bother because it's pretty much the same as the Hero 9 that I'm using now. Um, but it's just like a faster processor on it, so like obviously the touch screen will be a lot better. But yeah, it's pretty cool this. <laughs> if we ever go back to California, obviously we'll, we'll try and do Alcatraz. Like I said, we, we looked at booking and going last time we went. Um, also the first time we went, and it was, um, it was fully booked up. Oh, this is segregation. Oh my god, look how grim it is in here. There's a seat and a bed, a wooden bed. Oh, and you've got your convex mirror up there as well. Oh, God. Oh, imagine being stuck in here. Yeah. I think you can actually close the doors as well. Yeah, you can lock the doors. Yeah. Yeah. I will be locked in prison. I'm gonna be locked in for the crack. And then I think this is the first one here. Number one, it's like really old, this one. Look at this. They've all got water in them though. With buttons, I don't know if they actually do anything anymore. The burns, not from cigarettes. Oh God, it's just, it's horrible, isn't it? Why anyone would want to commit a crime to be thrown in prison. Just, it's awful. 
like some of the stuff we were saying, you know, like things you hear, like they made themselves like little razor blades and they go around cutting people. Hey up, mate. You all right in there? Yeah, so it's quite modern, this one. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Modern day cell, this one. <laughs> Right, I was wrong. These are the cells through the ages, so it's obviously the modern day cell. Uh, a cell in 2013, which is when the prison closed. So they've got like a TV in there, old, old radio on the side, uh, the toothbrush and gel. <laughs> stuff. Like that. I don't think they'd have Crocs in 2013 though, but they're there. Uh, 1995 cell. So they were saying in the 80s, this was actually the most populated prison in the whole of the UK. Um, with like over a thousand inmates in here. Because like when they opened the prison, each cell would only have one bed inside it. It was actually for one person. Oh, so the padded cell. Oh God. Oh, can't see much in there. And then, then obviously in the 1980s, then they made them into th um, three, put three beds in them. Oh, look at that one. Male Victorian cell. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Doesn't do anything. Press me. Probably some sort of diorama telling you what it is. Yeah, what the uh, cells, what they've got in there. That's yeah, quite modern, actually, this one. A typical cell. Yeah, so they're also just saying um, that they've just, well, they're cur currently building it, a uh, prison in Wrexham, which, is, which will be the Europe's largest prison that could hold some like 5,000 prisoners. Oh, there's the, the showers. Yeah, I think there's only a couple of wings here. It's not a very big prison, so they, they're saying that they closed um, five prisons down. They're like this sort of small scale prisons. Five down. Survey or the kitchens. Oh, oh. Hello. You alright? Cracking, you alright? Yeah, you alright. What you what are you cooking in there? Beans. Beans? <laughs> Cabbage. Yeah, so there's the kitchen as well. Pretty basic, there's a potato peeler. I know that because I used to work in a chip shop. Oh, that's about it really. Pasta, some beans. Do not test me, Jim. No tattoo. <laughs> yeah, so you got these dudes walking around. Pretty cool, right? Not my sort of thing though. Oh, I think she's one of the actors. Oh, there's a couple of these one of the bullies. <laughs> <laughs> Roaming characters. Go to the shower. So yeah, there's not really much else in these cells down here. Well, obviously it's a prison. They're not meant to be anything in them. There's nothing in them at all, really. Unless the beds have been taken out. Oh, there we go. I think we're going to uh, carry on the tour now. Remember how many rooms they said there was a hundred and it was 180 rooms I think in here. Oh, walk a bit faster. This is the guided tour. Yeah, it's really cool. Big it is in here as well. Which is really good. This uh, guided this tour guy is really good.
in the day, once, twice, three times, four times, as many times as you needed throughout the day. You'd line up in a queue along this wall, come through this gate up to that window where you'd be dispensed your medication by the nurse. Everything had to be taken at that window. You couldn't take anything back with you because those who are at a suicide risk will save it up. So simple. But every time. If it was after eight o'clock, the nurse would come and dispense medication to you in your cell. It was obviously from half seven to lock up. But she would dispense the medication to you in your cell. But every other time, it'd be through there. Right, so that was quite interesting, all about the uh, healthcare system here in the prison, like you, they'd all line up on that wall, then they'd go to the end cell there and give them the methadone and the prescription drugs, all that sort of stuff, and back in the old days, if they had a problem with them, uh, healthcare and they were aching, they wouldn't get anything, so, you know, it's times have changed. This cell here, uh, number 39, it was used on the filming of a programme called Time starring Shaw Bean and they've left it exactly how it was when they filmed it that's apparently that's why this ward or this this section this wing looks as um, as nice as it does because they painted it for the TV show never actually watched it but I think I might do now um, didn't know anything about it but yeah we're going right to the top now and the top floor get in there <laughs> Right, so we're going right up at the top. Yeah, the uh, Scouse uh, actor that was in um, uh, This Is England, apparently he's in that programme called Time. There's a cardboard cotto of him downstairs. Yeah, it's pretty cool in here. It's like the, uh, the whole prison's pretty much open now. And what's pretty cool is the uh, Lancaster prison in Lancaster, they turned it into a nightclub. We're going back down to where we started now. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Um, the Scouse actor. I think he's been in quite a few things, really. He's him in there. <laughs> he's uh, in that uh, programme. I'm sure I'm being about the, uh, the prison. Might have to uh, give it a watch. But yeah, really good uh, tour, really. Don't know what else we've got to say, but uh, we've got another 45 minutes of it to go, yeah. And the toilets are down there, the toilets. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, back outside, oh god. It's a bit derelict out here. Wow. Yeah, this looks old now around here. It just look like it just look, just looks like a film set. But yeah, apparently the film's Shawshank Redemption here as well. No way. Yeah, it's in the yard or something. The train tracks. Train crash. Oh, it's warm as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring you out when it's sunny because, you know, you get a tan. <laughs> Very rarely get a tan as it is and put like, stick. Take a basket of it. All over the country. Does anyone use Timpsons? Yeah, key cutters. Timpsons has a really good scheme. Timpsons will employ again directly from the prisons, and a lot of prisoners will go on to own their own shops. You've got to invest in people because you don't want them coming back and they don't want to come back. 
So it's about giving people options while they're here. Has anyone used a clink app or heard of clink apps? Yeah? Which ones do you use? Cardiff. Cardiff. For all of you that don't know about Clink Cafes, they are restaurants attached to prisons. It's food, restaurant quality food cooked by the prisoners for the public. Style prison has a mission in staff. You know, and it's for teaching prisoner skills so they can go move on. Quite good. Cafe prices for restaurant quality food it's definitely worth trying. But I don't Yeah, so basically the uh, train tracks there, uh, one of the prisoners spent 30 grand of his own money and had them tracks built by British Rail and then that was able to teach yeah. other prisoners a skill. Um, some of them, as she was just saying, some of them actually went on to work for Tipsons, the uh, key cutting company. There we are, sea wing now. Some really good footage in here, though. But yeah, all the, the map to uh, started out in that yard there. That was the gate, and we went inside to A Wing out the back, and then we just walked through into here now. So yeah, it's, um, it's a decent tour, and you can you can actually obviously go around your own at your own pace. Get some pictures. You film whatever you want. You could come back, but it's much better weather, you get a chance at a new life, and it's quite expensive and dangerous to come back, so the majority stayed there. But while they were here, they were doing hard labour like the men. They do the laundry for all the men, which was difficult enough, but they'd also do oakum picking, which is pulling apart tar covered ropes on the ships down to its base fibres. It'd rip your hands apart, you'd bleed daily, but it'd be used to fill the mattresses for the prison as well. So they weren't necessary jobs. But women could have their children with them. Up until they were an age of four. Once they hit four years old, they then had to go live with family, go to the workhouse or go to an orphanage. But you still can have kids in the <laughs> Right, we're actually going to see the execution room now. Gone on the original Victorian staircase just here. And um, yeah, this sea wing was actually for women uh, up until 1922, uh, when it was then turned into um, like I forgot what you call it now, special people <laughs> that have done really naughty things, and then they'll be led in in here. But yeah, a lot of the prisoners um, were exported to Australia. If you don't really know that about the history of Australia, but yeah, most of the white people um, who live in Australia were formed from criminals of the UK. Interesting fact for you. See it right the way around. So as long as I've got this wall frame. Oh yeah, that's pretty grim. Window frames are really good to lean in, by the way. Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's not a real one, it's just for demonstration no, it's purposes. Not wow. Now this was converted into workshops as well in the late 60s, that wall wouldn't have been there and obviously we didn't hang people from light fittings, which is the same purposes, but the ceiling was much higher and the beams up in the room above, but this is where it was. We found this, the trap when we were, you could still hear it banging around on the floor, but we excavated the floor and found the original trap, so this is where we are up to today. Now up until 1860, all executions used to be done in public. You'd be taken from the prison down to Heathgate, which is just outside the town walls, and they said people were said to dither towards their death. And that's why Ditherington is known as Ditherington, because it was formerly Dithering Town. That's why it was. All of these names trickle down. And it was done as a public deterrent. Right, there you go. The actual uh, tour is over, but you can still actually walk around some of the prison. 
Now you got the uh, the visits section here. Um, yeah, that last room with the execution room. Yeah, it was all a mock up. Um, they basically when they were turning this prison into a tourist attraction, they actually found the trap door under the floor. Um, yeah, it's pretty grim. Some of the stories they were saying. That's why obviously I didn't I didn't film a lot of that. Um, obviously respect the the dead and all that. <laughs> it's just obviously visits um, visiting prisoners. There's still lots of facts. You could probably spend a good four hours at this place. It's it's quite an interesting um, tourist attraction now. I mean, yeah, it was a working prison up until 2013. Oh, is it? Get me drugs. Oh, you got this. You got a trap, tra tra trapel in there. The chapel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like you know, seeing stuff like this. It's a part of history. There's a tourist attraction as well. There's the doctors. Not back to where. Oh, it's where we were before. A wing. Let me out. Okay. Got the drugs in here. Um. But yeah, it was saying stuff like um, they couldn't even prescribe like paracetamol and all that sort of stuff, so it all had to be done here. Um, but they couldn't make the prisoners take the drugs and or whatever it was, the medis medicine and stuff like that. Um, so they were just sort of, um, you know, expected them to take it themselves. So a lot of them would overdose and things. You know, it's, it's, it's quite... A, Quite a grim world, like, but you know, don't do stuff that's naughty. Yeah, well, oh, there's a staircase up there. Don't do anything that's naughty, and you won't end up in here. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool, like, right? it's a it's a good uh, experience. All right, so we just got to have a look at some of the cells up here on uh, C block. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, it's grim up here, isn't it? Yeah, to say it closed in 2013. Um, it's like all the paint's peeled off. But yeah, it was sure that they were saying that these were actually fire hydrants. So they'd stick a fire hydrant up to there and it'd, it'd go through the door and soak whatever's on fire inside the room. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. There's not going to be much more than what I'm filming now. But we're actually off to a fun fair. Um, it's Shrewsbury Quarry, I think it's called. A Jennings fair. There's a, a coaster credit there, a little minor mic, and a ghost train. So we're doing that. Um, well, when that opens at five o'clock, it's only ten past four now. But yeah, you've got the uh, prison showers. and I mean, these look quite modern, actually. This, this doesn't look that old at all. Really? That just... Looks like what it would look like when they closed in 2013. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Again, something different. Yeah, the channel isn't all about fun fairs and theme parks and roller coasters, but tourist attractions just like this one. And uh, yeah, it's great for filming in here. The lighting's brilliant in some of the sections. Right, so that's the end of the tour uh, and the whole experience really. There's a bit of a, a museum in here, it's very small. Um, prisoner painting just there. <laughs> What's going on with his hand? <laughs> it, it's like, again, it's like a, a, it's such a unique um, experience really. Like all the different tools that they made. All the little blades, and then they're made out of toothbrushes and razor blades. Andy, yeah? Ricky Tomlinson? Two years. No way. This is like a sabotage and vandalism on a picket line in Shrewsbury. Wow. Oh. Yeah, look at the nice smoking, the uh, smoking implements and things. <laughs> Riot shield. So, so there are some pretty talented people in prison. Right, uh, uh, draw the characters from Porridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is just buy all sorts of stuff. 
I've got to pick it up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look, Ricky Tomlinson. <laughs> He's in prison. Never knew that. Robert Welsh. I've heard of him. I can't remember what. Oh, Great Train Robbery. That's one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard him from. Murdered his neighbour. Oh, Prisoner of Pains. It was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. The last one hung. Yeah, the last one hung. But no, really good. Oh, there's a cabinet full of all sorts of stuff in here. Battens, different battens and badges and... Yeah, really, really cool and really fascinating. So if you're into this sort of stuff, then come and check it out. I don't know if any other uh, prisons in the UK that allow tours and things, obviously the ones that have closed down, um, do this sort of thing. And there's a gift shop. And that's basically it. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, the next video after this will be from the Jennings Fun Fair at Shrewsbury Quarry, I think it was called. Really nice park. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's not even open yet. It opens at five o'clock. Very small fair. But yeah, there's all sorts of stuff like a jigsaw with a, in a test tube. It's quite a cute little jigsaw, actually. It's just a picture. I took a really good picture like that. Check the Facebook page, uh, Coaster Crazy for pictures and Instagram Coaster Crazy. Andy for other things and yeah uh, don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video and from Shrewsbury prison I'll see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>